Uh, my name is Jason J. Rock Houston, and this interview is being done for Chaotic Risk Magazine. Today we're speaking with uh, uh, singer Jeff DeBerry, and um, Jeff, has been a long time since we last talked, and since we last talked, you now have a new album out called uh, DeBerry 7, and that's what we'll be talking about today. Um, how have you been doing? I've been doing good, Jason. Have, uh, it has been a while since I've spoken to you. Yeah. Uh, how have you been? I've been great. Now, um, now what I'd like to start the interview off is... Um, Every time I talk to you, you seem like you're going kind of through an identity crisis. Um, when I first uh, started talking to you a couple of years back, um, you were known as a backstreet rocker, and then you start going by uh, Jeff, Jeff DeBerry, and, and the last two albums were released under DeBerry, and, and now I see on your website um, you're going by the name Jeff Allen DeBerry, which I'm sure is your birth uh, name. I'm just curious, um, why why the need to go through all these name changes? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just, I guess maybe sometimes I just get bored with stuff. Uh, I mean, my name is, uh, my, my, my full name is Jeffrey Allen, you know. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, that's, I, just, uh, I just decided to to use my, my full name, uh, Jeffrey Allen DeBerry. Like, for when it comes to my, my you know, for albums and yeah. stuff like that, you know, but I, I, you know, people call me Jeff. Um, you know, I kind of, I was kind of like thinking like, you know, David Lee Roth and, yeah. and uh, you know, different stuff like that where people, I, I, I you know, seen other um, artists use a middle name and I thought I just thought it sounded pretty cool yeah I mean it's, very, it's a great sound name uh, that, that's, that's probably what I'll, what I'll stick with but it's, uh, people just I, I just prefer people call me Jeff yeah, it's a great sound and name I gotta say but um, it just kind of reminds me of um uh, John Cougar Mellencamp he used to go by Johnny Cougar, John Mellencamp, <laughs> um, but but it's it's all good. Um, now, now talking specifically about this new album, uh, DeBerry Seven. Like I said, the last two um, albums have been released under DeBerry because you're kind of for people that don't know, um, you're a one man band where you, you not just uh, sing all the vocals but you do um, all the instruments. Yeah, that's correct. I um, I for my music projects for my albums, it's it's uh, DeBerry is going to be the that logo that I have, that, yeah. uh, that's more than likely going to always be on the front. It's always going to be DeBerry, you know, but uh, as far as, like, you know, band members go, yeah. I'm the only member of the band, and that would be Jeffrey Allen DeBerry. <laughs> yeah. You know, but uh, it's kind of, I just, I, I kind of like, I like the logo, you know, that logo, I, I, I designed the logo and stuff, and and um, I just, I kind of like, uh, like my last album, um, uh, Lightning Strikes, I, I use that same logo, you know, and I use yeah. the same one for for the current album, my current album, The Berry Seven, um, and I I entitled The Berry Seven because it's the seventh album that I've recorded over the past fifteen years. Okay, and, and you know anybody that's um, followed your career knows that um, you know you're a real behind, um, you're a real hands-on kind of guy. Where to the point that you release all your own music, you record everything on your own, you do all the artwork. So um, I was kind of curious, Jeff. Um, besides being a musician, if um, if art has been something you've always been interested in, because, you know, I've just really always been impressed with the graphics and stuff that you do. I'm, I'm sorry. I did. Can you say that again? I'm sorry. By well, saying, um, anybody that's followed your career knows that, you know, you're a really hands-on guy where you're just as involved with artwork and the recording and, and all the instruments uh, on the album. I was curious if, um, in addition to being a musician, if art's something you've always kind of been interested in, because I've always um, been impressed with your artwork and your graphics. Oh yeah, I, I, well, I, I consider myself, you know, to be an artist. You know, I just, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's music. I like, I just like to. I'm just very, I'm just a very creative person. You know, I, I just like, I like creating things. I like, I like, you know, art. I like doing uh, computer graphics. Um, uh, you know, music, writing songs, um, performing all the instruments on my songs. I just, I'm just a very creative person. I've been that way ever since I was a kid. You know, I've, I've always, I used to draw and stuff and, and stuff like that. I, I, I was never really good at drawing, per se, with my hands, but, you know, I started getting into doing computer graphics probably about 15, 16 years ago, you know, and it just, it's, it's, it's fun, you know, it's just a lot of fun for me. It's something that you know, I do, and I, I just like doing it in my spare time, you know, and it, it keeps me out of trouble, <laughs> and it's, it's just, it's just fun. I like, I like, I like art, I like, to, I like creating things, creating music, pictures, you know, computer graphics, and that's, that's why I like doing my own artwork for my albums and stuff. I would, I don't think there'll ever come a time where I'll, where I'll, you know, go out, go and find someone to do an album cover for me, you know, because I just, I just, I, that's all, it's all part of it, you know, it's, it's, it's all part of the, the whole thing, you know, it's the, the, you know, writing the songs, recording all the music, um, and then, you know, a lot of times when I'm in the middle of uh, recording an album or just recording songs, I'll, I'll, 
be working on the album cover. I'll, I'll probably go through 20 different different uh, uh, album covers before I find the set. Before I find the set on one. Yeah, and now you know. I gotta say, I love the current album cover with four kind of different faces of uh, Jeff DeBerry. I mean, that's kind of a cool idea going along with the one man band. Um, you know. Um, Thing. I think it's just a great um, idea. And now, originally, you released this album um, kind of mid-year, and then you had to kind of pull it and re, um, release it because um, there was some problem um, with the original release. Can you talk at all about that? Well, I had originally released it on, on Reverb Nation as a uh, download and a, um, uh, a hard a physical copy. And I, unlike my, my last album and uh, the one before that, um, lost in the city. I, I had uh, uploaded all the songs through Reverb Nation, uh, a feature, one of the premium features that they have, and it will, when you, if you upload it through uh, uh, this, the, 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 dis, the distribution feature, you can, uh, it'll, they'll just, you know, for a fee, they'll distribute it to uh, iTunes and, and uh, Amazon and, and different uh, online music uh, stores. Um, and I had it on Reverb Nation as a, 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 a physical copy and as well as a download, but Reaver Nation um, discontinued that feature that they had while my album was out there. <laughs> so I just, well, all I really did, I never really took the album down. It, it was just gone because Reaver Nation had canceled their, their, that, that feature that they had. So I found uh, a couple other uh, uh, websites that do the same thing that allow me to uh, create my, uh, the album, you know, the physical copy of the album. And the physical copies of the album, are, it's just like how it was in Reverb Nation. They're on an on-demand, uh, uh, on-demand type of uh, thing, where when someone orders an album, if they order a, a copy, a physical copy of the CD, the, wherever they, wherever they manufacture them, they, they manufacture the CD, and then they send it out to the person. You know, it's not like I have a warehouse with thousands of my Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. That, that, that doesn't exist. But when you order a copy, they, they, they manufacture it in a, in a facility where they make CDs, you know, and they, they send it out to whoever, who, whomever uh, uh, orders it. I can, I can also order bulk copies if I want, yeah. and stuff like that, you know. It just, it's just, because the album is, is, is it's available right now on, on uh, Amazon.com, as a, uh, um, a physical copy, all you, all you would have to do is go to Amazon.com yeah. and just go in the search box and type in DBURY and then the Roman numeral 7 and the album will pop right up. Um, the download is on CD Baby. Now, CD Baby also offers the same thing where I can make them into uh, uh, physical copies, but they, they, they charge a fee. Oh, okay. okay. Whereas the, 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 the website that I'm using to I'll put it on Amazon.com. It doesn't. It doesn't cost me anything. Oh wow! I just, I just put. I just. I just submit the artwork, and they put it up there. And when someone buys buys a copy of the album, they 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 get a cut, and then I get a cut of it. Wow, how cool is that? Now, um, has the album been out long enough for you to see like? Um if you're selling more physical copies, more downloads, or the individual people downloading more of the individual songs themselves? I. Probably stole more more downloads on CD Baby than I, than I had physical copies. Uh, the the download is less expensive, uh -huh. and that's just pretty much what I've come to. Um, you know what I what I see today is more people are are downloading, you know, doing downloads, you know, than they actually buy physical copies. But I always like to have it available in both physical copies, both for one because I want to have a copy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and and uh, you know, for people that just that, that like CDs, I. I I've sent CDs out to people. I've sent copies yeah. of that CD out to out to uh, um, people on uh, uh, different couple different uh, online radio stations, which actually they actually play my songs and stuff too. Oh wow! Uh, how, yeah, how cool that me myself like you like um, I always um, I love having a physical copy of any you know of any um, CD that's out there. I mean, just to be able to play in the car, look at the artwork. I think that's a cool thing that you're still offering up to the fans because um, you know a lot of a lot of a record. Um, a lot of record um, labels and that they're not even like you said they're going all digital and I, I think that's just um, it's a lost art form so I think it's keep that you're um, great that you're kind of keeping that alive. Yeah, and I'm I'm, I'm into the old school. <laughs> you know, I like I like having physical copies of CDs. I like to collect CDs. You know, and, and especially my own stuff. I want I want to have a, a physical copy in my hand rather than <laughs> just have them on a computer or have them because for one, I mean the physical copies always no one's going to have it. I mean, things can happen to a computer 
or or and I uh, what uh, um when uh what those things that they I don't even know what they're called yeah. the, uh, that 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 they they download music on the um the uh, um. I, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Yeah, you know, yeah. Those, those little things that, that people, they, um, they, they download music onto and they, they, they listen to it through their headphones and stuff like that. I mean, something could happen to yeah. that, you know? And you could, I mean, I don't know. I don't yeah. really know much about them because I don't own one. Um, so I, just, I just like having physical copies. That, that's pretty much what it comes down to. Yeah, and, and now, um, like, I, I have a friend that's a musician, and he was telling me when he was recording an album that... Um, he had a total, you know, because like these days, um, you know, like you go record on, on your computer down in your studio. He said he had had a whole album's worth of material recorded, and he, he stored everything, like all the files, on his computer. And he said some his computer crashed. He lost everything, and um, he had to go back and re-record all the tracks. Um, like when you're recording an album, um, what lengths do you go to to protect stuff like that from happening? Well, I mean, if well, what, what I usually do is, I mean, when I record a song and the song is finished, I usually burn it to a CD. I have tons of, uh, <laughs> of CDs with my songs burned on them, and there are probably hundreds of them. <laughs> you know, and uh, when, I, when, I, when I finish a song, I'll usually burn it to a CD, even if that's the only song that's yeah. on the CD. So I'll actually, so I'll, so I won't lose. So if something like that were to happen, I'll still have the song, and I can just rip it back onto the computer once I, once I got it back up. But I mean, I've, I've been fortunate that I've never had that happen where I've lost everything. Um, when I'm in the midst of, of recording a song and if something like that were to happen, unfortunately, yeah. I probably would lose the whole thing. <laughs> but I don't really yeah. have any way of, of, of unless, um, you know, you can always um, make a backup disc, you yeah. know, and back up all your files and put them on a disc. But I've, I've never done that. I mean, if it, you know, it's, it's I, I would hope that something like that doesn't happen. I, I don't, my computer that I use, to uh, store my music and I uh, used to uh, um, mix all my songs. I don't use that computer very often. I mean, I don't like, you know, surf the web with that computer. I mean, I will use it occasionally, you know, if I'm back in my studio working on something and maybe hop on Facebook or something like that. Yeah. But um, I, I, that, that computer is primarily for just recording my music and I really don't. I try not to, uh, uh, you know, go online with that computer very often. Um, if I'm uploading a song, um, I'll, I may use it to do that. Or because I, cause I, I have another computer upstairs in my living room mm -hmm. um, that I just, if I'm online, that's the computer room. I, I mean, you know, 99.9% .9 of the time that I'm on. And I, I'll also, sometimes I'll even just send send uh, the MP3 file, of email it back to myself and just open it up in that computer and store it on that computer. And then I can use that to uh, upload it to different websites and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Now, um, when when I first um, heard this Debiri Seven album, it kind of um, seemed to me kind of like a a continuation of Lightning Strikes, almost you know the next logical step. Um, when you went in to um, record the album, was it a matter of just um, did you have an idea of what you wanted the songs to sound like, or do you just start recording the songs and kind of see what comes out? Pretty much the way I do it. I would, whenever I record a song, I mean, yeah. sometimes I'll have a song in my head. I'll have like a melody. Or maybe um, uh, uh, a line like 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 uh, the first song, like the first track, R O C K and roll. Yeah. Um, I I was walking around singing that R O C K and roll, you know, the, the first line uh, like for a long time, and I wanted to make a song out of it. Now, now like that, I, well, I sat down and I pretty much knew what I wanted to do, and it was just a matter of figuring out, you know, uh, to make it make it fit, you know. Um, other, but most of the time, I'll just start messing around with the guitar, or just come up with a riff, and I'll just start building a song around it. Is what I do. When I when I wrote the songs for for uh, the Barry Seven, didn't have any kind of uh, format. There yeah. was no kind of theme or anything like that. I just it's just a uh, you know a bunch of songs that I've written over the past year and a half, and I just I just, I just put them all together on one album. I I I went back and uh, one of the songs that are on there, uh, she and mine. I, is, uh, also appears on uh, um, Lost in the City. Um, I, did, I did a better uh, uh, version of it, uh, a better recording of it, and I, I, it's, it's a, it's, that's an old song. That's yeah, yeah. Song. Back, it's from the 80s. It was actually a song that uh, a guitar player that I used to play with uh, a work. So yeah. I used to perform it in a, in a band I used to play with a number of years ago. And um, that one, I just said, that's, I that, that's an old one, but like most of the other ones, I do, they're all new songs. I just I just sit down and just I just start creating, and however it comes out, that's where it comes out. 
yeah, yeah. yeah. I record my vocals. A lot of times, when I, like, like lately, like for this album, um, as opposed to the other albums, like the other albums, I, I, I always record the music first, and then I, then I do the vocals. Um, sometimes I'll write lyrics as I'm recording the song, but most of the time I'll write the music, and I'm not even sure what the song is really even going to be about at first. I'll, I'll, I won't know that until I start writing lyrics for it. But like how it did, a, like this album here, like songs like The Cowboy, and uh, pretty much all of them, I, I, I recorded the, the vocals as I was writing the lyrics. I sat down here and, you know, listening to the music and, and stuff that started coming to me and I had my mic and my, my, my uh, mic and everything all set up and I would just stand up there and I'd sing that line. <laughs> you know, and, and I went on from there. That's, that's, and because I, I, I noticed that, because a lot of times if I'm just sitting there writing, like just listening to it and, and trying to write lyrics, I, or if I have something in my head, you know, and, and, and then I'll go a couple of days, it's not, it won't, I won't remember it, you know? Yeah. So the way I did it this time, I, I, I like I said, I sat down, I, I sat down, and I, I just had the music playing, and I would, I would just, just uh, get up in front of my, in front of my mic with my headphones and stuff, and, and I would just, just sing, just sing that line. And I, and I just went out from there, and as I, and as I would listen back to, listen to it back, mm-hmm. I could listen to how it was going, and this other other stuff would just start coming to me. <laughs> wow, wow! And and I, and I went on from there. Well, now getting back to the song "She's a Mine," like you said, that's um, that's an older song going back to the '80s with um, one of your previous bands. Um, I was reading on your um, Facebook page a while back that um, I guess the guy that wrote it with you, or the guitar player, um, that you've kind of lost track of him. Um, is that is is that correct? Yeah, I, I, um, Gordon Moby Doc, that was his name. Oh, okay. Um, he was a, uh, guy, uh, I knew him years ago, we were kids, um, we played in a band, uh, our band was called Challenger. Okay. And, uh, him and I, uh, played in that band together for, for quite a number of years, and Gordon was a songwriter, and, and really a lot of my influences come from, really came from him, if you ever <laughs> listen to that, to, you know, She's in Mind, yeah. listen to some of my, some of my own stuff, there, there's a lot of similarities in there, you know, and Gordon, Gordon, Gordon was a was an accomplished musician. He actually went to uh, Northern Illinois University and majored in music. Oh wow! And uh, I don't I don't know what ever happened to him. I had gone to visit him a few times when he uh, when he was in college at uh, Northern Illinois, and uh, we just lost track of each we lost touch with each other. Um, I, I have no idea where. I mean, even some of like I know like his cousin. I used to play with uh. his cousin. Was it was our bass player? I talked to him all the time. They don't even know where what happened to him. I mean, I you could. You could be dead for all I know. I mean, you know, I mean, God forbid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I mean, it could be. I don't know. I don't know what ever happened to him. The, the mystery lives on, but but as I guess does his music, thanks to you. So, um, you know, I, I guess um, wherever he is, he has you to thank for you know this song living living on. So, let me ask you. Um, um, you know, music is subjective, and um, you know, and you being an artist, I'm sure you're you're really critical of um, the way your songs come out, but. And um, like you also got another song, Homeward Bound, and we're talking about She Isn't Mine. Um, like, what was it about the original versions of those songs that you didn't like yourself? I just thought I could do better. Uh-huh. Um, I I have I'm using different uh, stuff to record with um, as opposed to when I originally recorded those songs, and um, I just I, I had some other ideas for them, and I just I felt I could do better, and 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 as well they they seem to fit. With the rest of the songs that I, that I was putting together for, for for this particular album, I I um, just basically thought I could do a better job, and and uh, and, and I think I did. Um, especially with Homeward Bound, you know, I made it a little. You know, I added some keyboards and piano to the beginning of it, and and uh, I just I, I felt I didn't wasn't really crazy about the way I sang it the first time. Uh-huh. Um, there was parts of it I wanted to listen to it, and I, I to myself I, I sound flat. You know, and 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 I just felt I could do a better job on the vocals. I could do I could do a better job uh, uh, musically with you know in, in, uh, instrumentally, and uh, that's that, that's why I, I chose to to, re, to uh, redo those those two songs. And, and then you know, like a lot a lot of artists these days, um, you know, before you had enough tracks for a full album, you kind of were releasing the tracks individually, I guess, kind of to get feedback from the fans. Um, one of the first songs I remember you uh, putting out there um, for the album was. Um, finally released was ROCK and Roll. Um, what kind of feedback did you get um, from people when you first put the song um, up on your Facebook site on that? A lot of artists these days, you, um, you um, like before you had an album's worth of material, you kind of were releasing the songs, um, you know, individually, kind of previewing them for your fans. What, what's that like for you? It's, 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 it
it's just the way I like to do it. I, I don't, I just, whenever I write a song, I just, I, I want people to hear it, you know, because my, the, the whole thing with me and my music is, I, I'm, I'm not in it because I'm trying to become rich and famous, I'm not in it because I, I want to make money, um, I don't, you know, play music for a living, I, I, I have a job, you know, mm -hmm. I go to work every day like everybody, like, 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 just, just like everybody else does, and, uh, when I write a song, I just want people to hear it, you know, I'm, I'm excited about it. Um, I don't like keeping it, like, like write a bunch of songs and keep them all secret. You know, like you can't, you know, you can't hear anything until the album's done. I'm just, that's just the way I am. Um, I'm just, I'm just a non-traditional kind of a person. You can, I just, I try to stay away from, from, you know, traditional things. You know, the way that record companies yeah. do it. The way that, uh, you know, mainstream artists uh, do things, you know. I, I don't, I don't care if anybody hears the song. I mean, yeah. what I'm running is, I, I, I don't mind yeah. if people hear the song. You know, I just, I, I want to see what pe people like it, and I, I, uh, I always get good feedback on it, you know? Yeah, and that, no, let me ask you, like, um, one of the first songs you released from this album was R.O.C.K. and Roll, which um, I think is just a great rock anthem. Um, what a great way to start off the album, but, um, like, is it also a great way for you to... Um, like you said, get feedback from a fan and see. Like for example, if you if you got put up a song and it didn't get like or a lot of uh, positive feedback, would you think uh, maybe that's an album that or maybe that's a song I should hold back? Um. Well, I've never really had that happen. To be honest. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I mean, I think like if, like if I had a bunch of people tell me that I sucked, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I probably would, would consider not putting it on the album. But yeah. I, I've never had that happen. And plus, I I mean, I always my 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 wife is a. Uh, is, a, is a, I like to is very critical when it comes to music, not just my music, but yeah. music period. And she knows a lot about music; she really does. And 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 uh, you know, I always let let her listen to my 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 song before I even put them post them to her, to the internet, whether it be Facebook yeah. or Reverb Nation or or wherever, you know. And and if she likes it, then I know it's been, then then you know I'm pretty sure that other people are going to like it. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, she's the kind of person that she ain't gonna tell me that sounds <laughs> good when it sucks. Yeah. I mean, she'll she'll tell me exactly how she feels. Yeah, you know. And she'll yeah. tell me she'll tell me you need to you need, I think you should change this. You know, try doing this or try doing that. And sometimes I'll, I I won't want to do it. <laughs> and a lot of times cause I just don't I don't know feel like having to go back and redo all this stuff. But then I'll sit and think about it. It's like and and then I'll, I'll try whatever her suggestion was. And uh, usually ten times out of ten, she was right. Yeah. And, and when I when I make those changes, the song it, it usually it, it does. I mean, I can I can hear what what she was hearing. You know, you know what I mean. And mm -hmm. and 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 now then once it's all done, then I'll I'll go and upload it to the internet and see what people think about it. Yeah, you know, I, I'm um, I'm on the CD Baby page. Um, you know, it's, it's got you up there and. Um, for the description, says this album is a collection of original songs done in the style of 70s and 80s, classic hard rock and heavy metal. The variety of different styles will keep the listener anticipating one one track to the next. And, and I think that's a fair description because um, if people are gonna, expecting to put on an album full of just um, full blown on metal or, or full blown on you know um, nothing but ballads, um, it's nothing like that. You, you're giving you're giving the audience kind of um, different, uh, as it says, different styles or different taste of uh, what you like. Exactly. You know, I, I, like I said, when I, when I, when I record music, I don't, or an album, I don't uh, have a theme or a, a format. I just write songs, you know, and when I'm writing a song, the song comes out uh, sounding however, however, I'm, whatever I'm feeling. Yeah. You know, and, and it's, I mean, I don't even, I'll just start playing, you know, I'll start just, just, just playing and, and, and I'll come up with a, with a cool song to riff. Yeah. And I'll throw a song around it. And I try to keep my albums. I don't. I don't want. You know. I don't want it to sound like uh, every song to sound the same. Yeah. You know, I don't want. You know. Every song to be a, a hard driving heavy metal song. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You know. Don't get me wrong. Right. I mean, I have nothing against that. But I mean, I don't want. That's not how I want to. I want to be different. I want to be me. I'm not, I don't want to. I don't want to sound like 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 this band or that band. I don't want my album to sound like like this album or that album. I want it to sound like 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 me, you know. And that, that that's, that's very important to me. You yeah. Know? yeah. It, 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 uh, and and I, I've I've had other people like uh, I have a good friend who's a uh, a, a disc jockey on a, on a really uh, popular uh, internet uh, rock station, um, 
and he 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 plays my music on he has he has a show on Thursday nights and on Sunday mornings, and he, he plays every as, I mean, ever ever since I released the album, I sent him a a, a physical copy of it of, of the album, and and when he heard it, um, it just blew him away. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is the person that uh, was used to play music. He's he, he's a bit older than I am, but he he was he was he used to play in a band back in the sixties and seventies, and they were at one time. Uh, Signed to sign, got signed with a major label. Wow. Actually, uh, used to he was a, a rock critic and stuff, and he's actually interviewed people like Jimi Hendrix. Um, he's hung out with people like Rod Stewart. Wow, wow. Uh, the Rolling Stone. I mean, it's, 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 the list goes on. And I mean, I know this to be true because I've seen the pictures of him and stuff. With wow, people, wow. You know, and and uh, you know, with someone uh, to me, someone like that. Uh, you know, he, he did the album. He just blew him away. He loved it, and that's what that's what that's kind of how he described it like it's like you know you listen to one song and you know you just want to hear what the next one's going to sound like because they're all they're all different you know i'm, I'm going i'm jumping from one style yeah. to another you know like you know a few of the songs that sound like you know commercial you know kind of hard rock commercial and then i have some that are that are just, just heavy metal you know i i have uh you know the song the cowboy which could almost I mean even my wife has said it could almost even be a song that you might even hear someone like garth brooks sing it yeah, you know, and and you know the songs like uh, I'll be home soon, and my and, and the the last track on the album makes count. You know, I use a lot of keyboard and stuff in that one, and and I just I just want to I, I want I want my albums to have have variety to them. I want them, you know, to I, I don't want to something something that where you know you, you're going to want to listen to more than one time. You know, yeah, and that's the, and, and, and and that's uh, like my friend my friend uh, that's that's how that's how he, he described it. You know, and. Well, yeah, and you, you know that that's one thing I've always enjoyed about listening to your albums it, is um, is is just there's no really um, I can't think of any album you put out where there's any filler material, especially you know just looking uh, what, what we have um, on the Debury Seven album. Um, there's really no filler material. I mean, you got you know twelve great tracks and they're all different styles. That's what that's what I love about it. I mean, um, you, you got a song like R O C K and Roll, uh, the Cowboy, Bite the Bullet. Um, you know, that's in the last song of track uh, on the album you were mentioning, uh, "Make It Last." That's one of my favorite tracks. Um, it's real kind of keyboard heavy, but but I kind of dig that. Um, you know, for for years you hear people saying, you know, rock music and key keyboards don't belong together. But um, I mean, even look at a band like Deep Purple. I mean, where the keyboards are really heavy. I really always kind of dug um, songs that had keyboards because I just think it, it gave gave the song, you know, kind of a bigger, fatter sound. Yeah, I I, I like keyboards in, in, in songs. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to. I'm not my you know personally I'm not I'm not trying to stick with the format of what rock and roll is supposed to be. It's yeah. rock and roll, <laughs> you know. I'm trying. I'm not, I don't try to try to try to to, to uh, stay in any certain type of format, you know. Um, it's I, I I I just know what I hear in my head, you know, and I'll try different things when I'm recording a song, and until I finally come up with it with a finished product, you know. And and uh, um, I want I that that song make it count uh, the, uh, the the last track. I, I just wanted to do something where it had keyboards in it, and, yeah. and I think that uh, I've the next my next project I'm going to have maybe maybe probably a couple of songs like that where where I'm, I'm going to have have uh, keyboards and stuff in it because I think keyboards sometimes when I if I listen to a song that's got keyboards in it like that it, it just sounds powerful you yeah. know it's like especially when it's coming through the speakers and stuff you listen to it it just it, it has a very powerful sound to it you know I mean that that that's my personal opinion. And, and the song, yeah. Like the song "Make It Count." Um, could you tell us at all what it's a uh, it's about? Because um, I mean, I listen to it. And I kind of hear like um, message I get from it's kind of like um, you know, if you're going to do anything in life, you're going to you know put your name or anything, anything, you better you know you know make it make it last, so to speak. Or, um, make it count. I, <laughs> it's, it's, I, I every day I go on my Facebook page, and you know I'll I'll just like type something like you know I tell people to have a nice. I have I have a lot of people. I have friends almost. Oh, you know, nearly four thousand people on my on my Facebook page, and 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 I just tell, I greet people, tell them have a good yeah. day, and make it count, make the day count, make it make every minute, make make sure, make you know, stop and you know, and look at like in the in the song was you know, stop and smell the roses. Yeah. You know, to not you know, because I look at people today, and they're just people are just so busy. You know, they're on, they're just so busy. They're you know, they don't. To me, I don't. I I, I see I see too much of people not. Stopping and enjoying life. I mean, that's yeah. really what it's about. You know, make make the day count because you don't. Life is really short. You know, 
and and people saying, you know, I, I get, you know, some people go about life thinking they're thinking that they have forever. Yeah, you know, yeah. And you don't. You know, you don't have forever. You're not going to live forever. You don't know how long you're going to live. You know, you don't know if you lay your head down on your pillow tonight, you may not wake up again. You know, no one knows. You have a 50 50 chance of, of, of waking up tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So that's why I say is to try to make every minute count. Make, make, it, make it count. That's what the song is about. It's making life count. Making your, making your life count for you. Mm-hmm. Make, make it, make it uh, a, a, a count for something. You know, don't just go through life, uh, you know, I gotta, you know, I gotta do this and then just, just worrying about everything, worrying about work and bills and, and stuff like that. You know, have fun. Enjoy life. You know, that, that's what I try to do. Yeah, and, and, that's, that's what yeah. this song is about. And, and I, I gotta say, aside from um, you know your talent as a musician and a singer and a songwriter, Jeff, um, one thing I've always admired is, is like, you know, like the hands-on approach you got. Like, like you, you know, you tell me you got a regular nine-to-five job, and, and and you're still doing your music and getting it out there. Like, like fact, you just tell me, you know, you got um, like close to four thousand people on your Facebook page. That's that's just amazing to me. I mean, that shows all the, the fact that you go on there every day. You talk to your fans. You know, people are people are listening to your music. They're buying the music you're putting out there. So that, that tells me, you know, all your hard work and every put into um, each one of these albums is starting to pay off. If you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I guess you could say that. I mean, uh, <laughs> first of all, I don't really these people want that who I have on my Facebook, but I don't really consider them fans. I mean, some of them are. Yeah, I, they're, they're friends. You know, yeah. and that's why. It's, well, I, I don't look at myself like I'm some kind of a rock star because no, I, no, I'm no. not. I, I mean, I mean, maybe, maybe some people, I, I don't know, maybe they look at me that way. I don't know. But I, I'm not. You know, I don't think I am. I don't look at myself that way. They're my friends. You know, they're, they're Facebook friends. You know, yeah. some of them I've gotten to know pretty well. They're really cool people. You know, um, and the fact that, I, and, and, as I, and as I said before, I don't, you know, I don't record albums because I, I want to, I'm trying to make money at it or something like that. I mean, even if they don't buy the album, I mean, even if I, you know, if I just post my songs yeah. um, and they just listen to them and they tell me, I mean, that's, 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 that I've accomplished what I've set out to do. Because all I, when I started doing this 15 years ago, um, after I, you know, quit playing, playing bands and stuff, you know, I just wanted, I wanted to write my own music. I wanted, and I just wanted people to hear my songs. You know, yeah. I wanted them to hear, I wanted to share my music with people. And that's all it's really about for me is just sharing my music with people, sharing, sharing my art, sharing you know what I do, you know. And the people and the, and you know if people like it, then that's just all the more reason for me to continue doing it, you know. Because that's that's really what the only, the only thing that that's really all it's ever been about for me is, is, is just sharing my music. It's not about album sales. It's not about popularity. It's not about making a bunch of money or or, or going out and even playing gigs or, or anything like that. It's about just right, I'm, I'm a songwriter. You know, yeah. I, I consider myself to be a, a songwriter, you know, and, and, and I like to write music, I like to write songs, and I like to share them with people. And when people tell me they like my music, that I, I, I can't even describe uh, the feeling that they, that the feeling that I get, you know. It, it, it just it just it just tears my eyes sometimes because it, just, it makes me happy. Yeah. You know, doing that kind of stuff makes me happy, and that's what it's all about for me, just doing, just doing something that makes me happy, and if someone listens to my music, and they like my song, and, and that makes them happy. Then, then I, I have accomplished what I've set out to do. I, in, in other words, I've made. You know, people talk about, you know, uh, you know, musicians, or, or they'll talk about I'm going to make it in the music business. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make it. You know, and you know, what, what, what do you consider to be making it? Yeah. You know, being some big rock star. You know, for a few years, and then, and then, and then you're gone. You faded away. Nobody remembers you, or, or, or just, or, or. Doing what you love to do and having other people like like it, like what you do, you know. But as far as I'm concerned, I made it. Yeah, yeah. You know, because I I I've, I've had pe- people like my songs. They listen to them. They they play them on the radio on, on internet radio, you know. And and so as far as I'm concerned, I made it. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I'm not, I don't care about about making a million dollars. I mean, it'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, uh, but I mean, that's that that that's not why that's not why I'm in this. That's not why I do this stuff. I do because I love music and I love the right songs. I mean, that's the point I was trying to make. Cause, yeah, I want people to know that it was uh, 2007 when I first hooked up with you as far as you know, connecting on the internet um, via MySpace. 2009, I think. Yeah, okay, so somewhere around there, and I, I think it was on MySpace. Remember that? And um, mm-hmm. and, and 
and that's I'm saying if you just look at how the fan base has grown um, as far as you know your fan base since then it's amazing I mean I, I stayed on MySpace like you for the longest time but I kind of forced onto Facebook everybody jumped from MySpace to Facebook and I mean it'd be easy for like um, a band like you two to put up a Facebook page and immediately get 4,000 4, fans but you know we're talking about an independent artist here a guy that puts out his own music and like we were saying earlier he plays all the instruments writes all the songs does everything doesn't even have a record label behind him and, and even manage to uh, build up that kind of um, fan base in that little bit of time I just think, say that speaks volumes you know that somebody is um, paying attention to what you're doing well, like I said that's you know that's that's why I do it yeah yeah I yeah. To share my music with people yeah um, and the fact that um, people, I mean, it's, it's taken me a quite you know, a number of years to accumulate that many people. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, but, you know, and, and, and most of it is due to, you know, people either hearing my music on the radio or, or coming across it somewhere, you know, hearing my song somewhere, somebody told them about it, you know, mm -hmm. word of mouth or, or whatever, you know. And, and, there's, and I think, it, I mean, I, I, it, 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 it flatters me, you know, that, 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 that people... And enjoy listening to my music, you know, that they like to talk to me, you know, because like I said, I talk to people, I don't, you know, I, I'm just like they are. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't consider myself to be any different just because I can play a few instruments and like, you know, I, I just, I, I'm just, and I, and I tell people that, you know, there, there, there's nothing about me that, that I consider to be um, uh, above anybody else. I'm, mm -hmm. just, I'm just a regular guy who likes to write songs. That's really all I am. You know, and, and but you know, all the people view me. That's that's how they view me. But yeah, you know, I I, I, I like I like having uh, you know being able to talk to people and stuff. It's fun. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It, it makes me happy. Yeah, and another song I really enjoyed uh, you talk you touched on earlier was the cowboy, which is kind of your stab, I guess, at trying to do a country song. Now, when I first heard the title before I even heard the song I th immediately thought because I'm a Thin Lizzy fan they had a song called the uh, Cowboy Song and that's kind of what I thought of it but um I think it's a great stab at um you know at, at country music if you will well it's not really I don't really consider it to be a country music yeah. song it's just a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a rock and roll song yeah you know but that's what I mean I didn't write it with the intention of trying to sound like like, like another artist uh -huh. um you know I've, I've one of my one of my favorite artists, one of my, who's actually a really big influence on me is Garth Brooks. Oh, okay, okay, you know? yeah. And and I, I love his music. I, I, I've seen him in concert. You know, I, I have all his albums. I, I, I just got a new one. And, and uh, you know, I, I, I dig his music, you know. Um, and The Cowboy, I didn't intentionally, when I listened back to it, even my wife said the same thing. that She said, you could, I can hear someone like Garth Brooks doing that song. Uh -huh. You know, it, it could be a country song. Yeah. You know, it, someone could turn it into a country song if they wanted to. Yeah. You know, it's it's just a song about it's it's about a, it's a story that I had yeah. and going through my head about a about a a, a, a gunfighter who he he um he he duels you know gunfighting uh, for for money. It's a type yeah. that makes makes his money. He goes from town to town, you know, and and challenging other other gunfighters, you know, for for money. You know, and if you win. You know, you get the money. If you lose, <laughs> yeah. you lose. You die, I guess. But you know, and then, and then it's about him, about this woman who who waits at home while he goes off and and, and does this does this uh, does this stuff and 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 the one day, you know, she she just took off took out after him, you know, and uh, and and was hoping that she could find him, you know, before any before he will get killed, I guess, you know, uh -huh. and she does find him. You know, and and he and whether she's running, you know, I mean, it's just like with this vision I had in my head, like a, like a movie or like a story. Yeah. Or something, you know, she's running to him, and and he's about to he's about to, to draw, you know, and as he as he as he, as he as just as he starts to draw his gun, he knows it's her, and he looks away. The other guy shoots him, you know, and and then you know at the end of you know if you, if you listen to the lyrics, yeah. at the end of the song. You know the, the the woman the woman decided that she couldn't live without him, and she takes his gun and she kills herself. So the song the song kind of has a, it has a sad ending to it. Okay. But but, it, but really it all depends on how you look at it. Yeah. Because she, cause she didn't have to remain here without him. You know, it's, it, it's it's a story that I had, and, I, and I'm and I'm planning on writing some more songs like that that are that are stories. I I have, I have a few stories that I'm thinking about, and I want to write some songs. Um, songs like that oh cool and, and and then another another song i really enjoyed was the candle that's another um one you 
released early in the year before you had enough uh, material for a full album. Um, and I, I believe you were telling me at the time um, it's about all the school shootings. Can you talk a little bit about that track? Well, that song is a song that I've, I've been wanting to write for a long time. You know, um, you know it's really, um, the nine eleven what happened on 9-11, you know, the, 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 the Boston bombings, uh, the shooting, um, with all, where all the, where all the little kids were, where were shot and killed in, in, in uh, Connecticut. You know, that kind of stuff, I mean, I, I see this stuff all the time, you know, and it's, 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 it's heart-wrenching, you know, and it makes me angry, you know, and, and, um, I just wanted to write a song that was dedicated to those people, you know, that was dedicated to the families of those people, you know, and that's, that's what that song is about. And it's not just particularly yeah. about, those three incidents. It's about anybody yeah. you know, who who is who is who has lost a loved one due to some some act of violence. You know, some, I hear you. Some, uh, a shooting, whether it be a shooting or, or a domestic violence or, or anything. Yeah. You know, someone or, or even just someone who's just just lost someone that's that's close to them. Yeah, yeah. You know, to keep the can, you know, let, let the candle burn. You know, let it always signify the memory of their lives. You know, because that's you know that's you know they have you know all these candle vigils and, and yeah. all this stuff following all these events, you know, and that's what gave me the idea for the song, The Candle. Yeah, and, and the other track I want to talk about that I really love is Working Man Blues. I mean, I listen to that, it's kind of like um, a guy that works, you know, nine to five and feels like, you know, he works he works his butt off and that doesn't necessarily maybe have anything to show for. Is that kind of what you wrote it about? The song's about me. Okay. <laughs> It's really about me because I, it's, it's, I mean, I go to work every day. Yeah. You know, and I, I work, uh, I work afternoons actually from three in the afternoon till midnight. Wow, wow. And, uh, you know, I, uh, my, you know, I don't get to see my wife much because she works, we work opposite hours. Wow, wow. And it's the only time I really have that, that I really see her and I can really spend with her, you know. And it's just a song about, about, about working, you know, about, the song is about, it's, it's, it, I, I, I just thought about my, my, my job, you know, uh -huh. and, and, and what I do and, 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 uh, you know, just how my every hour, every night. You know, you know, I don't. It's not about like saying like I have nothing, nothing to show for. Yeah, I hear you. My my, yeah. my labors, I mean, I do. Yeah. You know, but I, I, I don't. It's just it's about you know working and just just feeling sometimes you know it's just it's a, it's a job. You yeah, know? yeah, I hear you. you know, like you just can't get ahead. You know, and just going to work every day. You know, and that's that's like I like I said that that, that song I actually wrote about myself. Oh, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> it's about me. Yeah. Autobiographical. How cool is that? Um, and then I was going to ask you, Jeff, uh, when you record all these songs, how 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 many of these songs are like um, one takes? I mean, do you have any rehearsal tapes, or did you have to record any of the songs more than once? Um, what's the usual procedure with that? I I don't really rehearse anything. Uh -huh. you know? I mean, I, I will. I'm just working the stuff out, you know. Uh -huh. And I have been doing this. I I really record stuff as I'm as I'm working it out. You know, I mean, I, I have, I'll, 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 I'll record it, you know, as I'm, as I'm doing it. And yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go through several takes, you know, of, of stuff, you know, just, just one, um, just one, uh, one, um, just one line of the song, yeah. one certain riff, you know, because the way, when I record my, when I record my songs, I, I, I record it in, in, in I mean, I don't sit there and like play the whole song yeah. all the way through, uh -huh. you know, on the guitar, and then play the next instrument all the way through. I, I, I'll play parts of that, I'll play, I'll play, I'll start, I'll, you know, I'll start at the beginning and, and I build my way up until it's all, until I'm finished with it, you know, oh, okay. and, 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 uh, you know, I'll, I'll write the, I'll write the intro, uh, and I'll do the next part, you know, and sometimes, you know, the song, I'll be recording it as I'm writing it, because I can't yeah. read music. Oh, okay, I wow. I, I can't read a note of music. Wow, wow. You know, and, and I don't, I mean, I don't, I, I can't tell if I'm playing a G chord or a D chord, I don't <laughs> know how it sounds, yeah. you know, and I just know where to go on the fretboard. You know, I'm after that, too. you know, I, I just, you know, try to figure out, well, just try this. Uh, that's, nah, that sounds like shit. You know, try to try the next one, try, and it's just, a, it's just a, a matter of trial and error, you mm -hmm. know. It, it can take me, it can take me uh, weeks to write, to record a song, or I can do one in a couple of days, like, like, I will see can roll up, and it, I, 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 I started and finished that song, and it took me about two days to, to do that, to, to, to do that song, basically because I, I knew what I wanted to do, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. Some of my songs, I mean, it could take me, it could take me days, you know, just working on it a little bit here, working on it a little bit there. But I, I record it in sections, like, like I'll record the first part of it, then I'll go to the next part, the next part, you know, and then I'll, and when it's all done, then I'll do the final mixing on it and stuff, you know, and then I'll, I'll do the vocals, and then I'll do the final mixing on the vocals and stuff. And so let me ask you, you know, um, we're, it's January 2015, we're in a new year, um, and the album's, you know, been out a while, but um, the rest 
uh, 2015, you plan on just kind of letting the album run its course, or are we already working towards a new album? I, I was actually working on some stuff today before I called you. Oh. I, I mean, I actually just, I just started today yeah. uh, to work on, uh, starting to work on some new, some, some new material, because um, I'm just, I'm in the mood for it, you know, after I finish that album, yeah. um, I, I took a break from it all yeah. for a while, you know, because when I work on my music, the, uh, most of the time, I mean, I have to do it, I mean, like I said, you know, I, I work a regular job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I work opposite hours. So, and when I when I work on my music, I'm down in my basement, you know, by myself. I don't like people watching me. <laughs> I don't want to have an audience. My wife don't come down and sit here and watch me yeah. play. So she don't do that. You know, she don't like this. You know, and and, and I I, cause I, 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 I don't like people to do that. I work like I have to be alone with you know and, and things. So it, it, it's it's time consuming. I hear you. I hear you. It's time consuming and. and and, uh, you know, I, so I took a break for the past seven months. I haven't even, I, I haven't so much as even picked up an instrument. Wow, wow. <laughs> you know, I just, yeah. I just, I just, I just, I just, uh, finished that album, I put it out, I've been just promoting that album, and, 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 uh, you know, it's been, like I said, it's been on the radio, uh, and actually the, the whole album, my, my friend who, uh, was a DJ, he actually yeah. featured the album in, in its entirety twice on the show we did. He did it for my birthday. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. And he, and he, he, he pictured the entire album from start to finish back to blue. Wow, wow, wow. Play the whole album. Well, hey, um, it's been great talking um, to you, Jeff. Again, we've been talking with uh, my good friend Jeffrey Allen DeBerry. Um, this interview is going to be for a January issue of Chaotic Risk magazine. Um, you can go to um, www.chaoticrisk.com. Um, before we um, end this, Jeff, is there anything else you'd like to say to the people? No, just, uh, you know, if you, want, if, you're, if you want a copy of the album, um, I, do, um, I do have a website. I don't have a domain to my website. <laughs> but uh, it's if you want to get a copy of the album, um, all you really have to do is go to the search engine, uh, go go to Amazon.com. Yeah. If you want a, uh, if, you, if you're looking for a, a physical copy, if you go to Amazon.com and just type in the Berry Seven D B U R Y, um, and the Roman numeral seven like a V and two capital I's, and hit hit uh, search, it will it will pop right up. If you go to CDBaby.com and if you do the same thing, type in uh, Jeff DeBerry or Jeff Allen DeBerry, because I, I have more than just than, than just this album on, on CD Baby. Um, CD Baby is our uh, digital downloads only. Um, I have this album on there. Um, Lennon Strikes is on there. And uh, so is the, the covers album that, that, that I did a couple years ago. Okay, uh, wow. Um, so, so if you type in my name, um, Jeff DeBerry, D-B, D-B-U-R-Y, um, that, that my, my page will pop right up. And you can go to that page and just follow the instructions and, and, and you can, you can uh, get a copy. Uh, I believe the copies of the downloads are six ninety nine, and uh, I, I'm, I'm sure I think the uh, um, physical copies. Uh, see, uh, Amazon.com sets, sets the own price, and I believe it's ten bucks, ten dollars, nine ninety nine for for the uh, for a physical copy of the album. But it's a good album. If you if you if you dig, uh, uh, you know, old school, you know, rock, hard rock and stuff like that, you'll you'll like this album. It's a good album. Oh, I, I totally agree. And I look at yeah. stuff, and, and uh, when it's done, you'll you'll see it. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, once again, Jeffrey Allen DeBerry, it's been great talking to you, and um, we're going to let you go now, Jeff, and, and before we close this, I just wanted to people go get uh, get any of your releases, because, um, again, they, they do not disappoint. If you're a fan of uh, 70s, 80s style hard rock, you're going to dig what this guy does.